Matthew 24 is one of, one of my favorite chapters because it has revealed so much, so much truth to me. And uh, this video is about the abomination of desolation that Jesus warned of and how it proves his word proves we are still under the law. Those that love him are under the law. Now, if you want to burn in hell and you don't want to make a covenant with him, then go ahead and don't be under the law because he gave us free will from the beginning. But if you want to make a covenant with him and he's renewing his covenant, then you better obey the law of Moses to the best of your ability. There's no longer priest and this and this and that. Certain things... You know, we don't have control over, but to the best of your ability, you better obey the law. Now, if you're a man, then you obey the laws for man. If you're a woman, you obey the laws for a woman. If you have some high ranking standard, I, I don't, I don't know. You obey those laws, but just being a normal citizen, you obey the laws to the best of your ability. The law of Moses, which is the law of God. Hello, the one God's going to tell people to return to. And has been saying this literally from the beginning of the Bible. Um, literally destined the end of time. And the abomination of desolation was caused by neglecting the law because y'all have a false Christ you're serving. The one that came in the wilderness, the one whose apostle is Paul. Paul is apostle of Satan. He is not one of the 12 apostles of God. Hello, he was the seed of Satan, the one that came behind the word of God. And so lie, so tears among, which means in the middle of, in the midst of the, the wheat, the real word of God that produces his, if you eat his words, it produces children of God. If you eat the words of the devil, you become a child of darkness. You become a child of the devil. And, and there's many devils, but anyways, Matthew 24. And Jesus left the temple and was walking away. His disciples came up to him and point out its buildings. Do you see all these? This is Jesus. Do you see all these? He replied, truly, I tell you, not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. All the stones will be thrown down. While Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Isles, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, when will these things happen and what will be the sign of your coming? Your coming when he returns and the end of the age. Jesus answered, see to it that no one deceives you. Notice he didn't say person, no one. That could be an angel, which is a devil. And there's many of them. That could be a person like Paul or one of Paul's followers that teach a false gospel contrary to what the word of God taught. For many, 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 many will come in my name. So hold on. Just because they're claiming to love God, if they're contradicting his word, they're denying him. So people can say, I believe in Jesus all day long. But if they contradict his word, they're denying him because he is the essence of his word, which is the father. Hello. Claiming. Many will come in my name. Claiming. I am Christ. This is what the one the little false Christ that came in Damascus did. And he tricked Paul. He deceived Paul. He came claiming he was Christ. And he deceived Paul. And he was written in the Bible. So people think it's true. Even though Jesus said it was going to be amongst his word. And will deceive many. Hello. Many, many, many. Probably you. I know he deceived me at one time when I wasn't paying attention. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Be, so, be 
but see to it that you are not alarmed. These things must happen, but the end is still not come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there'll be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth, play, birth pains. Okay, it's witness to all the nations. Then they will deliver you over to be persecuted and killed. And you will be hated by all nations of my name for the cause of his name. I don't like the way he's worded it. And when it, it talks about his name, it's talking about his authority, what he taught, the law, the truth. They'll hate you for teaching the law, the truth. At that time, many will fall away and betray and hate one another. And many false prophets will arise and mislead many. Right now, it's happening. <sighs> because of the multiplication of wickedness, the love of most, most, I don't know, I don't think that's the original word, but any will grow cold. But the one who, who's going to be saved? It doesn't say the ones that confess with their mouth and believe in their heart. No, it's the ones that obey and believe the word of God, not the word of Paul. The ones that believe the word of God. This is John 3, 36. Go read it in Greek. That believe and obey are the ones that enter into the kingdom. But hold on. Who will be saved? But those who preserve to the end end you're gonna be tested you gotta hold fast till the end those will be saved notice he didn't say those the ones that confess with their mouth and believe in their heart no it didn't say that don't say that paul taught that lie you gotta do more than confess with your mouth and believe even the devils believe even the devils can confess that jesus is lord you must love him you must pick up your cross you must be born uh from above some people say born again whatever hold on pay attention and this gospel of the kingdom this one this one go look this up i have many times and this gospel, it doesn't say in Paul's gospel. No, they're preaching Paul's gospel now. It's already been preached uh, in the whole world. It says, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached to the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. Okay, pay attention to the abomination of desolation because Jesus is taking you there. He's telling you what caused it. It's lawlessness that causes the abomination of desolation because you chose to believe Paul's lying gospel. When Jesus told you it was better, you cut off one of your limbs than, than to break one of God's commandments, one of his laws. So when you see standing in the holy place, the abomination of desolation described by Daniel, the prophet, let the reader understand, let the reader understand. We're going to go there. First, I'm going to show you a few more things. Then let those who are Judah flee to the mountains, blah, 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 blah. So when we see this happen, but, but let's go to the abomination of desolations and see what causes it. But I want to hit one more thing. So hold on. Where is it at? Where is it at? I don't want to make this forever. Oh, right here. At that time, if anyone tells you, who's you? Who's you? Who is he talking to? He's talking to his, uh, his real apostles at the time. If anyone tells you, look, here is Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. Hello, that's what Paul did. And he knew Paul was going to be around his real apostles. That's why he says, if anyone tells you, he's talking to his apostles. Look here, here's Christ or there he is. Do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophets will appear. They will appear and perform great signs and wonders that's what paul did he tells you about his signs and wonders and would deceive even the elect if possible see i have told you in advance 
Hello. This is how I'm going to prove the law is not done away with, first of all. Matthew 23, 23. He's, he's preaching the law of Moses right here. Woe to you teachers of the law and Pharisees. These are people that are supposedly teaching the law, but they're not obeying the law. He calls them hypocrites. This is what Paul was. He was a hypocrite. He said, oh, I teach the law to those that are under the law, but my, I myself am not under the law. And at one time he says, uh, I'm, I'm not under the law. I'm under the law of Christ. There's no difference. Uh, hello, Yahshua came to proclaim the word of the Father, not his own word. He doesn't have a separate law, but, but Paul brought a separate false Christ. And when you obey that false Christ, you're obeying the devil and you're a child of Satan. Okay, you need to repent of that. Pay attention to what he says. You give tent. A tenth of your spices and mint deal and coming. This is in the law. This right here is part of the law of Moses. It's not one of the Ten Commandments. It's part of the law of Moses. You can look it up yourself. I might put it on here and link it. It'll flash up there most likely. But you have neglected the more important matters, the weightier matters of the law. Justice. And I think if you look this up, it's like judgment. They're being too lenient. They're, they're, they're literally not upholding justice. They're lawless. Mercy and faithfulness. Being faithful to the law. Hello. You should have practiced the latter. They should have did the thing, the latter without neglecting the former. He didn't come to do away with any of the law. He said not to teach anyone to break the least of the commandments. He said, do not be deceived. I have not come to abolish the law. He already knew what was going to happen. But whose voice did you continue in? Because those that continue in the word of God are his real disciples. Look right here. To the Jews who had believed in him, Jesus said, if you hold, I don't like that version. Well, who cares? If you hold to my, my teachings, he didn't say Paul's teachings. He didn't say the one that was going to come after him and deceive many. He said, if you hold to my teachings, you are really my disciples. And then what's going to happen? Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. That's why most people aren't set free. What else was I going to bring up? Oh, yeah. So when Jesus was talking about uh, right here. Oh. So if they tell you here he is in the wilderness, do not go out. That's exactly where Paul said he found his false Christ in the wilderness, in the desert. There he is in the inner room. That's exactly what he said. He said he went to the inner room, the house of Judas, which I know was a different Judas, but it's symbolic. The one that betrayed God. Do not believe it. For just as lightning comes from the east and flashes as far as the west. Remember how Paul said he found this false Christ in the desert. He said it came like flashing lightning. Okay. He's pretty much telling you here, just as lightning comes to the east and flashes as far as the west, so will be the coming of man. Everyone will see it. Not just a few people here and there. I'm not saying he don't talk to his people, but if you'll say you saw Christ, you are lie. Unless it was in a dream or something. If you really say you saw him in the natural, you will lie. Because if you saw him, everybody saw him. When the, wherever the carcass is, that's a dead body. The vultures were gathered. They all come around it. All of them. It's not one or two people. And it proves it also here in Revelations. Look, he is coming with the clouds. And every eye will see him. Even those who pierced him, those who killed him, even the dead will see him. And all people on earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. 
Now I'm going to play Daniel. You can see what's the reason for the abomination of desolation. It's lawlessness. And he's telling you to return, to repent. And he's making a covenant with his people. You better make a covenant with him or else you're going to be beat down. For those people that think that Paul was a true prophet, that Paul was a true apostle, and that he taught the truth more than Jesus taught the truth, I want you to listen to this prophecy of Daniel. This is um, at the end, and this is, this is God telling you that you refuse to obey his law. Listen to this. There is no way you can hear this. And still, if you still deny the truth, well, maybe you're just destined for hell. But but pay attention to this. Listen to what uh, even Jesus told us to refer to Daniel. Listen to this. This is a prophecy. The law is not done away with. That is a lie from the pits of hell. Pay attention. A me by descent, who was made ruler over the Babylonian kingdom. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood from the scriptures, according to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah the prophet, that the desolation of Jerusalem would last seventy years. So I turned to the Lord God and pleaded with him in prayer and petition, in fasting and in sackcloth and ashes. I prayed to the Lord my God and confessed, Lord, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him and keep his commandments, we have sinned and done. Hold on. Who keeps his covenant with those who love him and keep his commandments. We have sinned and done wrong. Wrong. We have been wicked and have rebelled. We have turned away from your commands and laws. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, and our ancestors, and to all the people of the land. Lord, you are righteous, but this day we are covered with shame. The people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and all Israel, both near and far, and all the countries where you have scattered us because of our unfaithfulness to you. We and our kings, our princes, and our ancestors are covered with shame, Lord, because we have sinned against you. The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving, even though we have rebelled against him. We have not obeyed the Lord our God or kept the laws he gave us through his servants, the prophet. Hold on, do y'all not understand that? We have not obeyed the Lord our God or kept the laws he gave us through his servants the prophets through Moses Moses is the one pay attention y'all this is this is why y'all gonna go through tribula tribulation and for those that refuse this it's gonna be way harder on you it's all Israel has transgressed your law and turned away, refusing to obey you. Who? 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 All! Oh, All oh, Israel has transgressed your law and turned away, refusing to obey you because you listened to Paul instead of Yahshua. Hello! Pay attention! The curses and sworn judgments written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, have been poured out on us because we have sinned against you. You have fulfilled the word spoken against us and against our rulers by bringing on us great disaster. 
Under the whole heaven, nothing has ever been done like what has been done to Jerusalem. Just as it is written in the law of Moses, all this disaster has come on us, yet we have not sought the favor of the Lord our God by turning from our sins and giving attention to your truth. The Lord did not hesitate to bring the disaster on us, for the Lord our God is righteous in everything he does, yet we have not obeyed him. Now, Lord our God, who brought your people out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and who made for yourself a name that endures to this day, we have sinned, we have done wrong. Lord, in keeping with all your righteous acts, turn away your anger and your wrath from Jerusalem, your city, your holy hill. Our sins and the iniquities of our ancestors have made Jerusalem and your people an object of scorn to all those around us. Now, our God, hear the prayers and petitions of your servant. For your sake, Lord, look with favor on your desolate sanctuary. Give ear, our God, and desolate. hear. This is this has to do with what Jesus said, the abomination of desolation. Hello, the bad shepherds that caused the abomination of desolation, the worthless shepherd that was blinded in his right eye, the ones that y'all refuse to repent of and the one that you have made your master above God and above his word. Hello. Open your eyes and see the desolation of the city that bears your name. We do not make requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. Lord, listen. Lord, forgive. Lord, hear and act. For your sake, my God, do not delay, because your city and your people bear your name. While I was speaking and praying, confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel, and making my request to the Lord my God for his holy hill, while I was still in prayer, Gabriel, the man I had seen in the earlier vision came to me in swift flight about the time of the evening sacrifice. He instructed me and said to me, Daniel, I have now come to give you insight and understanding. As soon as you began to pray, a word went out, which I have come to tell you, for you are highly esteemed. Therefore consider the word and understand the vision. Seventy sevens are decreed for your people and your holy city to finish transgression, to put an end to sin, to atone for wickedness, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy place. Know and understand this. From the time the word goes out to restore and rebuild Jerusalem until the anointed one, the ruler, comes, there will be seven sevens and sixty-two. Are y'all paying attention? Hello! It doesn't say anything about don't return to the law. No, return! To the law. Hello. Two sevens. It will be rebuilt with streets and a trench. But in time. It will be rebuilt. Pay attention. Times of trouble. After the sixty-two sevens, the anointed one will be put to death and will have nothing. The people of the ruler who will come will destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end will come like a flood. War will continue until the end 
and, and desolations have been decreed. He will confirm a covenant with many for one seven. In the middle of the seven, he will put an end to sacrifice and offering. And at the temple, he will set up an abomination that causes desolation. <laughs> <laughs>